and welcome to another episode of winemastery.co.uk. We're here to tell you all about wine and help you find the wine, if not the wines, that you will absolutely love. <laughs> so, in this episode, <laughs> we're talking about Riesling from all over the world. Yes. But in part one, we're going to taste one from... Alsace. Alsace? Alsace, yes. Oh, okay. Who's he? <laughs> Nobody in audio. Oh, okay. right. Yeah, it's a, a French uh, uh, Riesling, Riesling, whichever way you want. I'm going to call it Riesling from now on because that's how, how I would yeah, call it. Yeah, I'd call that. <clears throat> would you? I, and I didn't used to, but then I found out you, you, you say it what, like it should be. Spoken. Like what it should be. <laughs> well, yeah, I thought, I thought we'd try different examples. We've done this before, different examples of grapes um, uh, from different countries and see how, how much they vary. Because, again, you know, sometimes you, you think, you know, you like a... Let's say, for instance, a Cabernet Sauvignon, and you'll have a Cabernet Sauvignon from, let's say, Australia, and you think, oh, that's really nice. But then, if you were to get one from, say, South Africa, um, it, it, may, it will vary quite a lot. So we're just going to see what's see what's changing in these Rieslings. Okay, looking forward to it. Okay, okay. So, Riesling number one. Oh, thank Dude. you. Oh, you're welcome. I like that that kind of frost on the outside of the glass. Oh, like, you know, nice. you just know you're going to enjoy it. Especially on a hot summer's day. Oh, in a cool cellar. In a cool cellar. A beautiful cellar. Hidden in the bowels of Brighouse. Oh, <laughs> now you make it sound so good. It, it is. No, this is quite a... What? what? Bowels of Brighouse. This is quite a... It's got a straw colour, hasn't it? Yeah, it's got a straw colour. You're, you're going to say it's got a touch of green in it, aren't you? I am going to say it's got a flex of green because you can flex. Get, well, yeah, like little flex hints, little sparkle, a, sp a little sparkle of green here and there. Okay, you're not having that, are you? No, I can't see that to be honest. I can see it's, it's a sort of tad moving away to sort of from yellow to limey, straw to limey, I guess. Okay, Colour. well we, we can go with that. Okay, I just can't see any flex in it. Oh, oh he's so picky, isn't he? <laughs> However, right, you have a nose it. Oh, much more delicate than the previous uh, reasons mm. that we've tried. Yeah, the reason in the past have been quite... They say it's a fairly obvious grape because it does... I know it sounds awful, but it has a very petroly smell. Mm. And it, it, it's very, very obvious, but that, that's, that's a very subtle... Yeah, delicate. Delicate? I'm liking the instruments, yeah. It's not... And possibly kind of a more melony in there, so a little bit of tropical fruit. Yeah. Um, and that's all I'm getting there. In, fact, in fact, from that... Someone told me that was another wine. I, I, I'm not, I'm not good enough to know that that wouldn't have been. If someone had just blind tested me and said that's a Savion or something, I. I think I know exactly what you mean. Yeah, yeah. I, I could be persuaded. Yeah. If somebody told me that that was a Sauvignon, yeah, you'd have that in your head, and you would. Yeah. It's probably only because we know it's reason that we're we're picking out those or trying to find those. Yeah. Maybe it's from the Alsace. Maybe that's the. Their style. Their style. Yeah. Well, that's what that's what this video is about. It is. So let's have a go. Okay. Wow. Yes. <laughs> Whoa. That, that definitely has that, doesn't it? Yeah. That is, um... That made me clench my buttocks. <laughs> 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 See, I don't think I've ever heard a wine described as a butter clenching. Uh, but I know what you mean. <laughs> what you mean is, it's, it's yeah. definitely the acidity in there is, is really, really quite sharp and yeah. and harsh, and in fact, really quite like a, a zestiness that really kind of catches you. It, it reminds me of um of like. Uh, you know those green apples, those really oh, yeah. sourish ones. Yeah. That one that really, that, that, yeah. yeah, that make your eye yeah. twitch a little bit. That. Yeah. Yeah, and that's what. Mm. That's all I'm really getting from that. So I guess there are lots of people that do like that. They love oh, yeah. the, the sourness and the crispiness it, of it. It definitely kind of wakes you up. It's I mean, it's all right. I think this is a good one. It's just probably not a wine I I, I would choose. Just a bit too harsh. I get. I could see this perhaps being uh, 
drunk with a meal? What would you? I think you definitely have to. I I, I wouldn't be one that I'd sit down and just sup away at. Cause it's just for for me, and I can already feel. I kind of I've said many times, Sauvignon tends to give me heartburn uh, quite easily from the acidity, and I, I bet that would give me um, heartburn quite easily. But yeah, you, it's got to be um, something like that. You've got to have oil, an oily fish. It's got to be light, but it's got. You see that that acidity is really yeah. going to have to cut. And then uh, that cut through it and really complement it well. Then yeah, the, yeah. The balance would be. Oh, I can imagine that would be. That really would be good. good. I'd like to. Yeah. I would have liked. Well, we haven't got any oily no, fish. fish oh, imagine, no. imagine. Um, but you know, th I think that would work very well. But as, as it is, as it stands, it's, I'm not saying it's bad wine, it's just not one that I would choose to drink a, a, a bottle of. I couldn't, because even like, that kind of, that, that sourish flavour, that kind of, um, that apple that sour apple flavour is coming through even yeah. more and more. Which, I suppose in itself is, is quite a magic thing, but it's not something I, I would choose for drinking. And, and I'll tell you something, it's not, Really, as you just said earlier, if that was put down to me as a blind tasting, I'd probably struggle to recognise that as a reason. Yeah. So it was a very, very subtle Riesling flavour in there, but nothing. I still look at your glass, don't I, all the time? You do? I don't Funny know. enough, mine's frosted, yours not. Yeah, what's going on with that? I don't know. Because I'm so warm. Probably, warm. probably. Yeah. yeah. So hot. Hot blooded, obviously. <laughs> I, know, I mean, is the first one? First one? As I said, I mean, it's very nice. Mm. I think that that would be certainly a wine I think I think of accompanying something that I needed it to, as you say, oily fish or some of this you needed to cut through. Mm. But that's yeah, it's, it's nice, but for me just a little bit too butter clenching. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> but people that like sour apples and really enjoy that, and there's a lot of people that do. Yeah, that's right. Um, I'm sure would really love that. I, I think that'd be a good. I reckon if if people are massive fans of the Sauvignon and those are big acidic Sauvignons, you know, yeah. that real sharp edge, I think that'd be a, a natural Spot progression. On. Yeah, yeah, a very good one to go for. Excellent. Right. Well, so, uh, oh, 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 price, oh, price, price, price. It's from France. Ah, so that means the price is going to be elevated. Okay. Um, I'm going to go for fifteen ninety nine. Very, very close. Very, very close. Yes, sixteen ninety nine. Okay. That, that's really good, John. Yeah. That's the last time. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how you do that. Mm. I don't look at the bottles, honest. You never no, do. I don't. <laughs> 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 My butter's clenched. <laughs> right, well, a good starter. Okay. And um, we'll see where we go from this because it's very intriguing now. So After we've had testing France. that, yeah, we've had France, so I reckon. Um, uh, Germany next? We'll Germany going? sounds good. Yeah. It's wine is just a Yeah. <coughs> Nein! <laughs> <laughs> That's not even German. <laughs> right. I think we'll see you in, in the next... Part two. Part two. Part two. See you then. See you there. Cheers. Cheers.